Hi guys, I am back to show you another activity or experiment that I do in a child care center being an early childhood educator. And these are the materials. Container, I am using black so that it will highlight the baking soda when I put in there later. And I have droppers here. For this one, I'll be using this kind, the transparent one and um, watercolor or food color. And I'm gonna put it on the white vinegar. That's also one of the materials. And the baking soda. Mm. So now I am putting a generous amount of baking soda on our container. Make sure um, it's gonna be covered so that when you put your other materials on it, you will really see the, the result. I'm covering all the parts of the container. And like I said, one of the materials is the, um, how do you call it? Droppers, there are many kinds of it. Like there's one like the squishy ones that I will be using like this transparent there's a glass kind of it and There's also different kinds so it's up to you what you're gonna use so for now I'll be using like this. Okay, let's start with our blue Yeah, when that happens kids are gonna be like ah, Woo! <laughs> And then let's see it with the yellow so kids really want to explore your whole container they can put it anywhere else or they can combine colors in this the skills that they will learn also is like combination of colors so they're gonna get their aha moments oh I put uh, let's say purple and oh I put blue and red together teacher it made purple which is yes and then if they put uh, red and yellow together they're gonna say oh it turned into orange okay until all of your colored white vinegar is used up you can just add more white vinegar and put your color so right now I'm just using four colors. See those? Yeah. And there's a sizzling, sizzling sound. Okay. I'm enjoying right now. Mm. Yellow and blue. Put it with blue. Oh yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's like you're also teaching color wheels. The color wheel, like the colors in the color wheel. Okay, it's the primary colors. You could also teach your kid that it's like only red, blue, and yellow. But if you put Red and blue, it will turn into purple. Red and uh, yellow, it will turn into orange. And blue and yellow will turn into green. So now I have here a colorful container full of sizzling baking soda and vinegar. And vinegar over baking soda. So I'm just gonna finish them up. And add more. And sometimes, if kids got really impatient of using the droppers, they just pour it like that. So, and actually, like I said in my daycare, the curriculum is play and exploration. They are allowed to like do what they want on the experiment as long as it's not. They're still gonna be safe and it's not gonna harm themselves or anyone 
so yeah don't get upset if they don't use if they don't want to use the uh, droppers anymore just like that all right now the final one i forgot to get white vinegar vinegar i'm gonna get the whole one and pour a lot from on that came back here and i got uh pure white vinegar i didn't put any color in it so let's see Final touch. Woo! Looks like a sprite soda to me. Mm -hmm. So bubbly now. And kids really enjoy that part. So as you noticed, I didn't use any more. I didn't use the droppers at all. Let's see. Finished product. Yeah, the colors are kind of mixed up, but you'll see some concentrated parts and these ones and this one. So some of you might be wondering what do we do after the activity or the experiment is done. I tell you, nothing goes wasted because as we know, white vinegar and baking soda are all natural uh, stuff. So we use these to clean up, uh, like I talked to our cook in our daycare or do you have some pots there to clean up and scrub so you can use the the like uh, outcome of our experiment so yeah this will be used for your household too if your kid will do this at home so just use this one with sponge and get your pots or anything you want to scrub in your kitchen so very very um, natural and uh, a nice cleaning stuff to use Okay, so that's all for now. I hope you learned something from this and uh, please like it or subscribe to get more updates on the other activities uh, I do in the Child Care Center, being an early childhood educator. Bye for now and I'll see you next time.